Welcome to the Our Show on LED TV. Today I sit here with an interesting man, a man who is not only a citizen of Ghana, but an advocate for the whole of West Africa. He is the author of The Darker Side of Ghana, a book you will find on Amazon and various platforms on nine pages. Welcome, Mr. Kofi Ali Yeke. Thank you, Andidi. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a privilege. Thank you very much. I'm most honored. Thank you. What is so particular about you and your journey to advocate for citizens' rights in within everyone? Yes, sir. Um, uh, my passion all along has yes. been out of my life experience. Okay. I'm born in Ghana, as right. usual. Right. Uh, my days met with the revolution of Rollins. Okay. So the economic hardship made me left school. I was then in Sahara School, West Africa. Okay. Moved to Nigeria like everybody else is doing. I thought I was doing the right thing, actually. And when I got to Nigeria, I realized I'll, I have advantage, probably because of my training in Ghana. Okay. And with that, I went back to school rather than doing the normal labor. Because when I got there, I realized that it was not as green as we thought. So I went into those kind of jobs. Mm -hmm. But later, I have to be combining that with school. Okay. I was lucky to be able to go on and get my degree mm -hmm. in uh, uh, economics. Mm -hmm. After that, I moved back to Ghana. Mm -hmm. In Ghana, things were not okay as usual. Which year was this? Uh, I moved back to, to Ghana in 1993. Okay. Right. But um, I left in 1983. Okay. So, 93. It's a long time before okay. I came back. And when I got back to Ghana, things were not right. So, I just thought, well, like anyone else, let me also go to Europe. Okay. Um, uh, on my way to Europe, I ended up in the Gambia. Okay. And there, I realized they needed teachers. Okay. But before I got to Gambia, I have been to other West African countries, been moving around okay. day and night. So it's like I was on the ground everywhere, right. you know, subconsciously learning about the people, learning about their way of life, mm -hmm. understanding that we are basically the same people with the same fate and destiny. Okay. I ended up in the Gambia where I taught for some time, for about uh, six, seven years. Then I move on to the Holland. Netherlands. Okay, Netherlands. Yeah, where I did my master's in business administration. Okay. With the challenges and hardship, I jumped in and came to the United Kingdom. And I've been here for some time. And uh, the differences in the culture as I move around mm -hmm. within West Africa mm -hmm. to the continent of Europe and ending up in Britain mm -hmm. and being someone who is always asking subconsciously the question, why? Mm -hmm. Is it different here mm -hmm. from there? Right. I started questioning myself. Right. And anytime I do put on those questions to myself, I do try to get the answers. That's one thing about me. Any question, you I, have answers for your own I questions. always get answers for my own okay. questions. Now, you, have, you are the author of the book called The Darker Side of Ghana. Yes. What motivated you to write that book? Thank you very much. What pushed me to write The Darker Side of Ghana clearly is my realization that uh, if you look at the book the subtitle is a typical case of the african cultural challenge okay. so i'm looking at the culture of not just ghana the whole world europe everywhere okay. if you read the book you see how i went into details yeah. but particularly because in writing mm -hmm. it is important whatever one is going to talk about to point at something specific right. and in this case the Ghanaian culture I realize that everything we do in this world is based on our culture then what is culture so my book try to identify the meaning because I realize that a lot of people until tomorrow when you go to Ghana you are most part of Africa and West Africa you hear people referring to the word culture mm -hmm. when they are actually talking about the olden way of doing things. Culture is not the olden way of doing things. No, no, no. no. Just culture is your way of life. Right. As you live such life that you think you are living, in other words, surviving better, determined by your environmental circumstances. Okay. 
So when your environment is changing, you need to be changing the culture. Because here, I was looking at then what constitutes the culture of Ghana, other cultures. And I realized that mm, anytime you talk about culture, there's always a group. Right. And when you have a group, there is a need for group members to be controlled. Mm -hmm. What is used to control them? Mm -hmm. Then I came up in my book with what I call the five fundamentals of culture. What are the five fundamentals of culture? Which I said, when you tamper with any one of these five, right. you tamper with the culture and change that culture. Because my aim is, how do we change the culture that is not really producing what we want? If you go to Accra, for example, and Accra is the capital of Ghana, 95% right. of the houses are, the highest you get is first floor. Yeah. They don't go more than that. Right. And by so doing, we are occupying space right. rather than occupying the space in the sky right. as they do here. Yeah. So there's no room for anything. We are crowded. Now, with that, the only reason my understanding is that we need technology to raise the thing higher. And culture, every technology, every culture must have a technology of its own. So I move on to say these five mm -hmm. elements that yeah. I mentioned earlier are yeah. one, politics. Right. Two, law. Three, institutions. Right. Four, tradition. Five, history. These five things, right. every culture in the world is the same and they have this five. Okay. And when you go into Ghana, I notice that we have two mm -hmm. major cultures. Okay. What we call the white man's culture. Okay. Yes, the way modern people do things. Right. And the other one in Ghana, the name we normally call it is traditional culture. Mm -hmm. It's actually the olden way of Okay. And these two have kind of governments that are running parallel. Both are relating to the same people. Okay. If you go to Ghana, we have local governments, right. which everybody know, or um, right. uh, district government. We also have, uh, we call it traditional area. Yeah. And the two are running. Mm -hmm. Now, and the, the one that we have, the modern one, where we let people to go to office, we hold them accountable. We say mm -hmm. anything we want to say about them. We check them. That one, you see, records are kept in a way. But the one we had before the new one came, which is still there, which we call the traditional one, you check, you see, there's no record on it. Most of what they do is like going to hospital to meet a doctor, medical, or going to a herbalist or a witch doctor. To meet. They are all trying to cure you. Right. They are doing the same thing. Okay. But one is more modern. The other one is Asian. So when a person dies, you go to hospital, there's a record to what doc, uh, the tablet they gave you that led to the death. So you are, the other you, you one, are, you're actually implying we should do away with the key. Well, <laughs> I will not say that directly. What would you but mean? what I will how, say how is that, crazy? you see, even the constitution of Ghana, mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. and, uh, recognize that aspect of our past mm -hmm. tradition. Right. The colonial masters, everybody did. Yeah. The constitution said they should not be involved in politics, okay. especially party politics. Yeah. But you cannot have a lion and tell lion don't eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And they're actively involved because they have power. But mm -hmm. they know. Mm -hmm. Now, our aim probably of leaving them is just to create, like in this country, you have okay. people you call mayors. Mm -hmm. You have Lord mayors. Yeah. They are all over the place. Yeah. In the past, they were very powerful people. Yeah. The only institution that is left here, which we will call the Dhaka, mm -hmm. part of the United Kingdom, is the monarchy. Right. But this is a kingdom. We right. are a republic. But there is a clear differentiation between the two, government and the monarchy. They, they are in this country? Well, the, you can see. That, <laughs> How well, do you queen, differentiate the queen, Well, the queen stays mostly out of things, you know? But in Africa, it's the other way around. Yes. Over here, it looks like so, the queen stays out. Let yeah, me but, clear that area. Yeah. You see, she's not involved in their dirty day-to-day -day talk, exactly. but she played very important course, role she, as the head of the state, the command, a commander-in-chief. Now, when you go back to where so we why, come why from... Why don't you just say we should get, a, get rid of this? Well... well how, do, how do we have presidency and we have, you know, two the various chiefs, chiefs well, in Ghana, I mean the kings or however you call them, but yeah. there are two or three major kings in Ghana. <laughs> and... We have the president. That is what, you, when you look at our history, that is what we call the feudal system of okay. the past. Right. Landlords and right. people who live on the land. Yeah. But with the colonization, mm -hmm. 
that then our independence, mm-hmm. the government have moved from the traditional ruler to the central government. Mm-hmm. The land automatically has moved. But who will say the chief should leave the land? Shall I shouldn't come from Kofi Ali. But what I know very well is that, you, okay. see, you see, what we are looking at is that when you develop a people, right. things like this will be dealt with. Mm-hmm. But at this stage, mm-hmm. we are having two competitors, like two fathers for one child. That mm-hmm. child will not be normal. Yeah. In Ghana, the people don't know whether to listen to the chiefs or listen to the modern-day corrupt politicians. Yeah. And I can say both are corrupt. Right. Because the so-called chiefs, mm-hmm. the little money they get probably yeah. from sale of land or from whatever they right. do, right. and I learned the state even pay them some money. They also collect tax where they can. Okay. What is happening there is that they are not accountable to anyone, right. and it is for group by group. Right. But where the central government, mm-hmm. which we also call, we say they are mm-hmm. corrupt, yeah. at least we are able to talk to them, we are able to replace them, right. we are able to do something about them. But as to, and I think development when you talk about development of course the chiefs are not going to develop us mm-hmm. because it's they themselves are not developed anyway right. by the system not right. them but by the system I they like are your honesty. yeah but when you come to the modern day government that is what we want to become right. andy sitting here i'm sitting here look at the way we dress yeah. but it is difficult to say let us throw away what we've been doing for so many years without preparing for the future right. so the darker side of ghana is just trying to raise that awareness that on this side we have problem because if you go to most of the rural areas the people don't know the modern day government mm-hmm. they don't know them the one they know are the chiefs okay. you see and 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 we think there is a vacuum there and the modern day government maybe are not working well enough but the chiefs are too powerful to suppress the modern day government they are more powerful than the modern one uh, on a lighter note when his excellency president uh, nanado mm-hmm. uh, uh, created swiss region some of us were dancing yes mm-hmm. at least because we believe development to the people mean government closer to the people yeah. when he was handing over the documents for the uh, for the creation of we expect him to hand it over to the minister of that region mm-hmm. or somebody of 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 that his own side because he created it yeah. he handed it to the chiefs technically you've told them that they own the place and now when we get up we say tribalism is killing us Meanwhile, we are busy. I've had president saying that now, you see, I have everyone in my government, but we don't have the cucumbers. So now we are going to make the cucumbers to take position. By so doing, you are encouraging them to be cucumbers. What we want are Ghanaians, not divided people. You see, the future is when we are united, not when we are divided. But maybe the time has not come. I think it's not an issue I like. My book answers everything. Right. I don't want to go too much into that because it's a very sensitive issue. The people we are talking about are very powerful. Mm-hmm. They, in my house, you go to, they come and write on top of your, come and see Chief Justice there and come with your distinct document. And all they want is for you to come and pay land rates to them. Meanwhile, you are paying land rate to a and You see, uh, of course, the state must collect money, tax, annual tax from all people. Are we confused as a nation? I would say we are in a bigger problem. But our confusion, I want to say, is not the chiefs directly for now. They are just people. It's like the vulture feeding on dead meat. They, we are a victim of the structures in which we find ourselves, not just in Ghana, but that is why Ecuador citizens' right advocate comes in. The whole of West Africa. I think that's where the problem is. First of all, what is Ecuador and what is for purpose? Thank you very much. In a nutshell, I don't know whether you have idea about what is European Union. Of course I do. Do you very yes, well? Of course I do. Now, exactly. Mm-hmm. That is Ecuador's for you. Exactly. Because that is the best way. You see, I want to I want to tell you what we want to be or what we are working that, to be. That is a big ambition. What is big about it? Some people have done it. What is a big ambition right. if it comes to survival? We are not united. We are united. How? Thank you very much. We are united. Right. Tell we all how. how. Yes. Good. In Ghana, are we united? No. Good. So 
But we only have the president of Ghana. We have one parliament in Ghana. We have one currency called CD. We have one court of justice. So what else? Do you want us to be to, to, to be wearing the same clothes I'll before we say we are united? I'll, I'll quote you in one We are your, united. I'll quote you in um, a statement in your pleb of your book. You say, you, mentioned, you, you stated that most West Africans have developed the wrong habit of employing the locally odd, adulterated and colloquial version of their former national language to engage in serious discussion. Yes. While expecting others to understand it. Yes. Do we have a common language? Yes. What is the language? Our common language, uh, Andy, mm -hmm. first and foremost, we right. have to understand that right. the Ghana government right. is not one particular tribe. What is our common language? Our, it's English. And that? That is our that national language, language. And you are basing that on the fu fundamental or the foundation of ECOWAS, English? Yes. Now, that is a foreign language. No. No, okay. it's not a foreign language. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know whether you have a birth certificate. I do. In which language is it written? It is in English. Uh, is that foreign? So your it's, birth certificate... No, no, no. But that is, we are, you see, that is a, the, the, the problem we Africans are having. We tend to stand strong our African heritage, but yet still copy and duplicate from the white. So why don't we just say, listen, we are learning from you. Help us. No. That, that is my... No. Point. We have been educated enough. How, have we? Yes, okay. I have been. Okay. And I'm sure you have. Yes. Fine. We, we, when we talk about we, we, we're looking at the bigger yeah. picture. Yeah, the bigger picture. Right. We can't all be medical doctors for us to see we have medical doctors. We don't need to all be engineers or farmers before we can feed ourselves. Right. However, those who are, how are we going about it? Now, let's get something straight. Mm -hmm. Ghana was formed by the British. If you read your history very well. Before Britain, there were the kingdoms. Right. And the institution, authority, the government British formed did not form the Bani government mm -hmm. for the Bani language mm -hmm. or Ewe or Chi, or Ga. Mm -hmm. What they did was, when they came and they want to form a country, mm -hmm. a colony, right. there are people there. So they don't need to go like they did in America, kill all the people there, and go and bring people from somewhere. Mm -hmm. What they did was, they formed us, mm -hmm. and then they introduced the language mm -hmm. they wanted us to use to us. Mm -hmm. And indeed, if people like John Mesa Saba, Kisley Hayford, mm -hmm. Kwejiri uh, Agri. Mm -hmm. Mention them. Mm -hmm. Before my even grandfather was born, mm -hmm. are very good in this so-called English. Mm -hmm. Where are we starting from? To say that it's not our language. Mm -hmm. What the problem we are having is that, right. like Kwejiri Agri said, when you educate a woman, right. you've educated the whole family. Yeah. But when you educate a man, you've educated one man. What he's trying to say is that the language the mother speaks is what she's going to speak to the child. So if your mother has been to school, Right? right? And she know how to communicate. Remember, you are going to school. Right. You are not going to school to be taught chi or ga. But that is the problem at the moment. Why is it a problem? We are not united. We cannot even choose one common language. Okay. For instance... We don't have a problem with English language in Ghana. Are you sure? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Well, I, 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 I tend to disagree with well, The problem we have is right. that what, what? we have people yeah. who are not unfortunately not able to have access to educational facilities and with the deregularization of the media mm -hmm. right and our misconception of culture mm -hmm. it's now making certain tribal languages and way of doing things to look like it is our official way of doing things no that is not official the official one remember we have 42 languages in ghana my book listed all of them and the locations where they are. But because we are not moving on, mm -hmm. we are replicating the past. Right. So what we are doing is that the people have not migrated okay. from where they were mm -hmm. to where we want them to be. The Bible itself said, let's create man in our own image. Mm -hmm. What we are trying to do here is to recreate a people. But we are divided on that as well. Some want us to go back to our original uh, indigenous way of right. doing it so, and keep so many languages right. feeling that mm -hmm. their own will vanish with time okay. it will it will it will disappear and some are saying look let us move into the future so we may be but that is not a problem we have to understand 
Our indigenous languages will be with us for as long as we want to keep them. But we should focus on the formal one. When the president of Ghana is speaking to us, in what language does he speak to us? In English, of course. Thank but you. What, what in you parliament, right. what language do we use? English. But the the Supreme talking, Court. The, yeah, but These are the organs of government. Yeah, yeah. But there seems to be a discourse in this whole gun. It's yes. I agree with you. Do you, you, you understand? Yeah, I now, agree you with you. you just said in your own statement, it seems that we are divided even in terms of language. We, because of our past. Okay. So how then do you create ECOWAS? Thank you. How do you, you, you as, as, as a country, one nation, you are not united. How then do you unite the whole you of see, West Africa? You see, when we say united right. of a nation, yeah. remember, even this country, yeah. England, are they united? Scottish are there. Welsh are there, Irish are there, but English stand, are there, but they strong. are but but they are getting results. Okay, good. And we are not. In our case, mm -hmm. we are having certain challenges, and it is the challenges that when you are starting something, you will have. Right. Remember, in the European Union, they have twenty-seven countries, right. and each of the some of the twenty-seven countries have got their own languages. Of some have got. If we go to Belgium, for example, of course. they speak it's, about four languages. Four languages there. Yeah, but my, my point is, in terms of, let's focus on ECOWAS. Yes. Because that is, you know what, I was in Ghana recently and they were nominating a, a deputy minister. For okay. And they had the so-called committee quizzing him. And in all the examples, they kind of refer him to in the United States and in the United States and in the United States, they have this system. We are not yet there. We are not even at the limb of, of what the, the society of the United States, uh, you know, yeah. is all based on. But yet we compare ourselves. We, can't we just start from the base and say, look, this is our problem. You know, let's start from there. And that is my major problem. Yes, I think... We keep comparing... For instance, you keep making um, referral to the, the European, European Union. Yes. But it took some time for them to be, you know, to form that. Well, and, and, and that is what Kwame Nkrumah did, and I said he failed. Because when he, he started all this movement, and we are still not yet, yet there. Yes, Kwame Nkrumah 50, how many years ago? And remember, that was when, if you know, you study the history of the OAU, you see the problem. People probably who share your view, yeah. who feel, let everybody solve their problem first before we bring the bigger picture together, yeah. continent. And those, the Casablanca group, who felt we should do it now. Right. Either way, yeah. there's no way you get people together, like you can see in the EU, that they will just match through. No, there are challenges. Right. But this is what we, what we are trying to mm -hmm. do. You see, we've moved on. Yeah. ECOWAS was formed in 1975. Okay. So that's a long time. If you calculate it, you'll be talking about 30-something or 40-something years. It's not a child. Now, in ECOWAS, we have two or I'll say partially three, but two official languages, English and French. Mm -hmm. Remember, Cape Verde mm -hmm. and Guinea-Bissau are Portuguese-speaking countries, mm -hmm. but their population is very small, and so we don't lay too much emphasis on that. And most of them can speak either English or French. Now, with the French and the English, our problem is simple. So we've identified the language we are going to use. Now, we realize that you see, there are people who are saying each country should solve their own problem first because Europeans have finished solving their problem before they came together. Those people who are saying this that... Is not, this is not about solving problems. This is about getting the basic education for each individual. Yes. And we are not yet all educated. What do you mean by to that basic level. education? Basic education, even to speak the common language that you call it. English. Yeah. Not all of us can speak it. Yeah. You see... So what if, if we are not yet... You understand if we don't, we don't yeah. When we're going for independence, mm -hmm. very few Ghanaians yeah. can even write their name. Right. Very few Ghanaians, and my mother in particular, right. if you give her a bottle yeah. to write O, yeah. letter O yeah. on the ground, yeah. my mother will get it wrong. Right. Because she doesn't understand the language. Yes, she can speak about seven or eight local languages in Ghana. That's what I'm But saying. she's mm -hmm. not stupid. What mm -hmm. I'm trying to say is that she if we are not stupid. Mm -hmm. What we need to understand is that these are human beings. Mm -hmm. 
They are like babies. They are like children. Mm -hmm. Politicians can turn human beings into anything if they, the politicians, know what they are. Mm -hmm. However, also remember, our faith, the problem we are having mm -hmm. is not only an internal one. There are external influences too. Always get that at the back of your mind. You are confused, Mr. Kuti. Thank you. You are confused. Thank you. You talk about external influence. Yes. So we are going back to square one. We know we are, we, everything based on this African and ECOWAS and African Union fundamental is duplicated. The yeah. ideology behind it is a duplicate. Yes. And what is wrong with the ideology? It's, it's a duplicate idea. Yes. We, we, if we somebody see, makes a car, right. and I want to also make a car, like right. the Chinese went to copy a car, yeah. is, but then is it bad? But then we shouldn't say we are capable of doing that and handling our own affairs, oh. because we are not handling it. No, my and, brother. And, and that is where the problem is, nah. with ECOWAS. And no. that is where, nah. Okay, nah. You, you go ahead. Nah. Mm -hmm. You see, if you take a case like you go to school to learn mathematics, right. you went to the school, yeah. and you, at the point in time, you told your teacher, now I know. Right. If you know, then do something with mathematics. Yeah. Now, be patient too. Right. When you say you know, right. the mathematics you will do, right. even if you are going to add your own to it, the one your teacher taught you, you That's have to really, good. really use it. Of course. Good. Mm -hmm. let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. 100, 200 years ago, mm -hmm. can you imagine West Africa? Mm -hmm. What is it? Maybe people half naked. I want to believe that. Yeah. Because our weather was so good that we don't need any serious clothing anyway. Right. Fine. 200 years into the future, you and I are the product of what we have now. Right. That is telling you that we have moved into the future. The problem is a huge proportion of the people do not have access to the resources. Which is? Which is, when we say resources, we mean, we mean, to you, for example, to right. me, for example, yeah. these are resources. Okay. The clothing I'm wearing, yeah. my right to life. It? Why can't we create it? Why can't we create it? Right. Oh, this is where I said, we are not aware that the very resources we are fighting on, whether it's on our land or it's outside our land, there's a competition on it. That competition means mm -hmm. we should find a way of blocking any other hand, we don't want them to dip their hand into it, then we do it and create the jobs for our people. This is, I think, what a lot of the people who don't see where we are going have problem with. Today, mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. is Ghana, like you said earlier, comparing Ghana with America? Yeah. 50 states! Yeah. When they had independence, they were colonies like us. Mm -hmm. And they decided to put it together. Yeah. At that time, they even have to fight a civil war. Right. At that time, at that time they were doing that thing. Go to America and see how they are struggling. The only thing is that most of them were migrants from Europe. So if they are setting skills and ideas, right. well, notwithstanding, they had challenges. Right. Good. Today they've moved. How? Because they need to, they were able to block. They created a sovereign institution. Okay. That before there was no Washington government. You read American history. There was no Washington government was something that was created. Washington DC was an area they carved out as the capital. Today, you can go to America if you are American citizens, go and live anywhere you want. And that's what the Europeans are doing. Mm -hmm. Our faith and the European faith are the same in the sense that they are countries that are sovereign. They are used to doing their thing in the world. But wisdom and common sense has taught them how to transform people who don't want to work together, who for two wars, who kill 99% of their youth in one war, hopeless war. They kill themselves. We have not killed ourselves like that. Mm -hmm. And yet, today they are working together. And when one of them said she is going almighty Britain, fine. Look at how they were able to, today you go to France, the government of France is busy dealing with French problem. German uh, government is dealing with their problem. And then the European Union government is dealing with the British government. So the British government don't have time. They are busy about Brexit while children are stabbing themselves. Why houses are on fire? Why things are why things are, are going wrong? And that is why they said, let us create that union so that the authority of the union with a sovereign power can be able to take away our bigger burden, like most of the Christians will say. Your bigger burden has been taken away. The government of Ghana now should be busy about how to build Gotha.
how to build inside, how to create jobs. Not how to deal with American government. American government is too big for us. Chinese government is there. Do you know China? Beijing alone, Beijing alone, the population of Beijing is 30 million. Ghana, we are just 27. So <laughs> we, we are just a fraction, a drop in the ocean among their population, 1.6 billion. The, we will get more in detail to that. But Equa, yeah. is there anything binding? It's like a myth. It's like an institution that exists, but for the core purpose of extorting money yeah. from public yeah. purse. Yeah. Equa, does it really exist? The question I don't want to do at you, does Ghana government exist in the country where you have people like slaves carrying things on their head? When you go to Katamantu, a girl with a baby on her back, mm -hmm. the girl herself, and this is a child, some of them very young, mm -hmm. carrying heavy load, mm -hmm. struggling in the middle of the road that your cars are missing them. Mm -hmm. Does government exist in that country? So when we are pointing finger at ECOWAS, let us look at what we are doing in our so-called countries. But these are the founders. I mean, they come together. To form now we are going to bring these ones together. Okay. I want to say that right. we have not left the Ghana government alone so and, are... and poop it because right. it's not. We are working for it to work. So and it's the same don't... way we need to do with ECOWAS. Okay. That's what we are saying. ECOWAS is our problem. Yes, it's our problem. No, no, but you've just stated it. We have not resolved our own national oh. issues already. Look, it wasn't like... I think there's we a have, problem here. No, there is a problem. There is the problem is because, that yeah. the what we call our national government are the colonies, the Europeans by their mistake. Look at somewhere like Gambia. Why do we still keep blaming the Europeans? No, 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 we are not blaming them. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. say that, right. look, this yeah. is where we are. Right. We all come to a place. Right. You took that land. I take that land. Yeah. I take, then we all did it have as exactly. You got bigger one. I got smaller one. That one got tiny one. Yeah. And then now we are moving into the future. Okay. Good. When the American government is deporting Ghanaians, 7,000 Ghanaians were brought to Ghana. Okay. About, about, about 3,000 Gambians were sent to Gambia. Mm -hmm. 2,000 Togolese were sent to Togo. 20,000 Nigerians were sent there. Now see. They sent us back to our colonies. The fact that we have changed the name from Gold Coast to Ghana, it's just the same old banga. See, we are, we are going back to the same thing. I'm I think saying. you are not getting if, me. If we, if we make our country so good and great, people wouldn't be crossing through the... Exactly. So we have not... So we are jumping the gun. No. And this is what Nkuma did. No. We are jumping. Do you elites come together and create no, something no, no, called no. ECOWAS? No which is a waste of time, Aye. and, and, and extorting public I think funds, which could be used accordingly in each national country. Fine, I'm so, coming. Yeah. You see, I think what we are failing to see yeah. is to see the global arena as a very competitive place. Okay. Competitive in the sense that right. your size, right. if you look at the, the economies that right. are emerging, leading, mm -hmm. talk about Russia, mm -hmm. talk about China, Talk right. about America. Right. Now you are talking about European, you know. Okay. You talk about Brazil. Yeah. Even India. Okay. Go and check their sizes. Okay. What a lot of you don't realize that mm -hmm. if you are a country now yeah. in this modern world yeah. and you don't have two things, then right. forget it. The two things are one, right. you already have your technology. Right. Already. Okay. If you have your technology, all you need to do, there's always some land where people don't know what to do with their resources. Go and take it and use it. Okay. And with that, you can build houses, build road. Technology can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That is, if you have got that one, a country like Ireland, mm -hmm. a country like Belgium, they can live because they got those things already mm -hmm. as part of their cultural package. Mm -hmm. When you don't have that one, mm -hmm. which we don't have as yeah. Ghanaians, yeah. as Nigerians. So as, now, 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 be patient with right. me. The next thing you need, you yeah. can use with the Chinese and the Indians are proving that it's working and yeah. can work. Yeah is the size of people under one government. Okay. Huge population. Right. Now, let me, let me analyze that very mm -hmm. well. Yeah. With huge population means huge market. Yeah. I don't know whether you see that yeah. one. And so when you're having taken tax, small, 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 assuming they're all kaya use, yeah. collect one, one pack. You always have huge amount to come in. With that, you can negotiate. Mm -hmm. You can hold businesses. For example, if Coca-Cola is operating in Ghana, mm -hmm. and Ghana government say, the tax you are giving me is not enough. Mm -hmm. Add more tax. Mm -hmm. They just look at you. They say, okay, don't worry. 
when we are ready, we'll talk to you. They go to Togo. Mm -hmm. They produce crop cola in Togo. They did it to Rawlings. They go to uh, 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 Burkina Faso. The Coca-Cola is already running there. The same company. Uh, what's the name of this country? Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. The same country. So where the Coca-Cola is not working because they've shut down the factory is Ghana. Now, if the ECOWAS is in place, mm -hmm. when they are leaving, the instruction will come from the center the ECOWAS Commission. Okay. Be patient with me. Right. Let me land here. Okay. And they will say, the whole of ECOWAS, uh, Unilever, the tax you are paying is not enough. We want a higher percentage mm -hmm. of the money you are making because mm -hmm. this is your market. Right. And if they say no, mm -hmm. they are not just leaving Ghana or Togo. They are leaving the whole region. Then we can even encourage local manufacturers to go in and replicate the product. And the technology is everywhere. So we'll be able to get a good base to negotiate with them. What we are doing now, we are vulnerable. The industries you see across West Africa, they've got the same industry. Is, I live in most of these countries. The same thing. The same. So you, that's why we don't trade with ourselves. We need to get these people at the right place. At the right place. And deal with them as one. They will respect us. With that, We'll be able to start creating the industrialists. We say we are building road from Badagri, Nigeria, to Dakar. EU is building the road for us. Why don't we, mm -hmm. if ECOWAS, we got the kind of ECOWAS we want, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The tax. Mm -hmm. Because when you finish building the road, you use it, you pay toll gate. Mr. Jekum Kufo, supply iron. Mr. Dangote, you supply cement. Mr. Dish, 25 years will pay you. They will build that. They will build it. So you agree that we are not united? I in a way. Oh. In a way. Because you just stated, we get them at the right place together. So they respect I us. Think, so, so uh, we, uh, we, we are We are, we are united. I want um, to tell us okay. why right. we, what we are getting wrong. Right. What we, we are, are getting, getting so many things. No, 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 no. We, we are only see. getting one thing wrong. Which is? Thank you very much. That, I don't know how much you are knowledgeable on the concept of sovereignty. I don't know. So you, you're saying we're getting wrong on sovereignty? I said, I don't know how much knowledgeable you are I, on I the am, concept. I am, I am, The reason so, why I'm saying that right. is that, you see, Ghana is a sovereign country. Okay. And there is something Ghana is doing that makes her a sovereign country. Nigeria is a sovereign country, and there is something she's doing that makes her a sovereign country. Well, so is Rwanda. I'm talking about West African countries. Okay, yeah. Well, now, well, now, I'm now, let's 15 countries of West of, Africa. Gambia, Gambia, no, 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 no. We are not discussing <laughs> okay, African Union. Okay, Please, let right. us have things in okay. perspective. I have not gone to all those places okay. because I need visa. In West Africa, it's free. Okay. okay. So and, please, and that, let us... That makes us... <laughs> West Africa, 15 countries. Okay. That is now, a good thing. Now, that now, we don't get now, 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 when you... Gambia, Gambia, they're not being up to 2 million. They've got sovereignty because there's something they are doing. Now, fast forward to ECOWAS. In ECOWAS, we don't have sovereignty as one people. And so when ECOWAS pass instruction, ECOWAS court pass judgment, nobody listens. We are gonna we're gonna talk about that just after the break. Thank you. Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to a resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human rights law, adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation and so on up to date has been broken and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law locally in London and across the borders in Ghana, where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. Welcome back. Mr. Yekin. Yes, sir. Just before the break, you mentioned something important. Hmm. When ECOWAS Court of Justice passes 
judgment. judgment. Nobody listen. Okay. The reason is simple. You see, as ECOWAS is now, mm-hmm. and everything starts from the parliament of ECOWAS, which is in Abuja. The parliament does not have what we call legislative power, like the European Union Parliament. About us. Good. Whether the ECOWAS Court of Justice has any binding rules at all, and whether it's an advisory body uh, 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 or a legislative. Good. Right. The, the, you see, the court itself, right. the court itself, right. court is court. Right. The laws the court uses right. come from the parliament. So if the parliament is an advisory body, then all the institutions of ECOWAS are going to be advisory bodies okay. because they depend on the parliament for their sovereign, for their status. Right. Now, what we are trying to do is to convert the ECOWAS parliament mm-hmm. from an advisory body, mm-hmm. which is stated, it's clearly stated in the ECOWAS and the, uh, what do you call it, the treaty, a mm-hmm. setting of the parliament mm-hmm. itself, mm-hmm. that this parliament for, for, for the beginning shall be an advisory body because of the way we choose people to go there. Mm-hmm. But in future, as soon as practically possible, that parliament must be converted into a legislative when body. Are they going to do that? that is when you become aware that there is a problem there. <laughs> but I'm coming. It's about democracy. <laughs> okay. It's about democracy. Right. And this is why ECOWA citizens' rights comes in. What we have been emphasizing, you see, there's something we have to understand. If you do not, you can have a church come. Mm-hmm. If you do not go out and call the congregation come, mm-hmm. you and your God will die in your church. Mm-hmm. Nobody will come. Mm-hmm. It is people that make the church the church mm-hmm. and the knowledge mm-hmm. they have. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Echo us. Mm-hmm. Where are the citizens? People like you and I. Of course. Do we talk about it? Do we even know where we are going? You are in Echo us now. They collect tax from you, ECOWAS tax. Mm-hmm. We collect it at the port. Mm-hmm. They just increase it. And then it goes to ECOWAS. So before, mm-hmm. your tax go to Ghana government and Ghana government give it to ECOWAS. Mm-hmm. But because we want you to take ownership and question what is happening to that money. Yeah. So we say you should pay. Then we put it as indirect taxation on your import. Mm-hmm. So that the cost of import will go high and maybe encourage, that is the second agenda, to encourage local manufacturing. Right. Now, this money that goes to ECOWAS, you pay your tax, but you are denied the right to vote for your legislators, the members of your ECOWAS parliament to go there directly to work for you. So you sit down and they choose people from Ghana parliament, Canadian, Japan, and Co. to go and represent you. They don't, they don't go. They collect their salary free. Right. And we are telling you that the problem is you. Because if ECOWAS work, the people will benefit. Yeah. If ECOWAS is suffering, the people suffer. What? How, how wicked? But how, how, how senseless is it mm-hmm. for you to be paying for what is useless to you? Useless in the sense that you are not questioning that thing. We, look, which part of Ghana do you come from? Eastern region. What is the name of your Eastern region, isn't yeah. it? Good. So Eastern region. Now, Eastern which region. region is close to Eastern region? Okay. They share border. Accra. So they can say, okay, Accra and Eastern region. The two of you, right? Choose one person to go and represent you in ECOWAS parliament. The way they do in the EU. Mm -hmm. That person will come to you, local government by local government, on the television, on the radio, Mm -hmm. tell you what they are going to do. Then you vote. When you vote, it can be NDC, it can be MPP, it can be PPP, it can be Ghana Poor People Party, it can be anything. As soon as you choose them for four years, after four years, they come back again to choose. They will be permanently based in Abuja. They will be visiting their constituency most of the time to know what is happening there. Yeah. There will be those who will be busy with the bigger problem. And the government of Ghana will now stop wasting its time with the American government and be dealing with issues within the region and his country. Right now, we have Ghana government worry about what is happening in America. 27 million people, your problem is what's happening in America and China. That is why we are giving away the bauxite. And getting nothing for it. So we are saying that the problem is the people. The people don't know. And our politicians that are very wicked, very wicked, I count them to be very wicked, are not educating the people. To them, it's a kind of United Nation. If you are a member of ECOWAS Parliament, mm-hmm. you are supposed to get your salary, a very huge money, wow. in dollar. I said it. Is in dollar. Yes. 
Yes, in dollar. They pay you. And you are sitting in Accra. Because your people voted for you to go to Accra Parliament, not Abuja. So you sit there. Occasionally, when they want you, you go there. Yeah. That's number one. So nobody, you are answerable to Ghana Parliament yeah. and your party. You are not answerable to the people. Number two, they give you a flat. They give them four-bedroom flat in Abuja. They rent it out. The estate agent that rent it for them. And they'll be in Accra and they'll be getting their money back. Some are in Senegal. Some are in Gambia. In addition to that, right. they give them cars. Anything you give the member of parliament in Ghana, they must get it. Right. So they are getting double because they are in parliament mm. and they are taking the other one. They, they give them, apart from the rooms that they rent out, mm. they also give them car. Mm -hmm. That uh, four by four. Right. That car, they give it to car hiring agent, running it in Abuja from hotel to hotel. In addition to the last painful one, we also give them coupon because we are supposed to be buying fuel for their cars. The drivers go and collect it on their behalf and go and take the, the, the petrol and be running from hotel to hotel, carrying people around. Now, who is the loser? Do you think that kind of people who sit down and collecting that dirty, dirty money will come and tell you, you, who is doing Kayayo, mm -hmm. or you on the street of Ghana, or you, Andy, that, hey, we are cheating you. They will tell you. They are those to supposed to ask their co that we want to see your, your budget, how you spend your money. But they themselves are guilty, so they can ask. So why don't we abolish it? Now, you see, it's like, I don't want to be messagenistic here, you know, uh, and we are in a very sensitive world mm -hmm. when you are talking about uh, people and their sex, you need to be careful. Mm -hmm. But I want to, to just please uh, be allowed to do that. It's like a woman. She's a necessary evil. If you have her, you are them. If you don't have her, you are them. I don't know whether you understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are alive and you are someone who but, wanted to have a partner, you don't have a woman, yeah. then you die alone. Yeah. And if you have if you have her, she wants you to give her all the time, she wants you to, to have babies, she will do all the things, she will fight with you. Right. But you make a choice. I'll be honest with you. You see, ECOWAS is a necessary evil. It's a necessary evil. Give me one fun, something important ECOWAS created within that. Within Ghana, yeah. something yeah. important. There is something. Oh, imperative. there is something, yeah. something important. Ecowas yeah. is. You see the problem right. here. Be patient mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. You have formed a confederation. Right. We call it confederation. Yeah. A confederation don't need to do anything. They are just there with headquarters, like United Nations. Right. Eh? And you think United Nations are doing nothing? What What is United Nations doing? I don't know. Doing peacekeeping. They are making. Ah, you are talking about keeping peacekeeping. Yeah. Oh, we have a comoc. They do take them to go and uh, you don't know about Mali. Well, go to Mali. Go to Gambia. No, no, no. Go to Gambia. But, but but yet you see a lot of flags. You you can never compare a comoc. I'm trying to, to tell you that uh, I think yes. what we are getting wrong right. is yeah. I thought you tell me one factory United Nations has built in no, Ghana. No, no, no factory. Give me one important. European factory. Union has built factories. So. European no, no, Union no. is working. Eurostars. You that can is see what it. I'm asking you. And so, I'm yeah. trying to tell you right. that you yeah. see you want. You see we have a passport. Yeah. Equas passport. I'm giving you example. Okay. We have what again? Some things about ECOWAS. All these things are things done by a federation of people. Mm -hmm. And we are confused. You see, we are running a confederation. Yeah. But the result you want from the question you are asking is the result that you get when you are running a federation. Right. Do you, you get I me? It. I get it. I don't know. Right. Confederation is mm -hmm. loose association of nations. Right. But if you look at ECOWAS and the things ECOWAS is trying to do or the thing we expect ECOWAS to do, they are done by a federation. So we want, you see, you want a federation, but your attitude towards the thing is confederation. And this is where the problem is. So why don't we abolish it? Uh, abolish? I'm coming. And so uh, uh, start something different. Uh, oh, start ha, something hello. Different. We're from OAU. Yeah. <laughs> you say it's not good. Yeah. Now we've left it. You form Ekoa. He yeah. said, is that, are we going to waste all our life forming things, forming things? No, I'm that's coming. why we have to form our nations, our no. individual nations now, first. Your individual nation, right. you do not, right. we've told, we've started by saying that, right. that colony, mm -hmm. Gold Coast, yeah. maybe let's call it Gold Coast, because right. when you call it Ghana, you think it's something new. Yeah. Call it Gold Coast, then you know it's this old banger. Yeah. It is formed by the British for themselves, not for you. They are not there. They are not ruling us. Aye. In the way. Aye. Aye. No, no. But indirectly, Aye. they are. Indirectly, they are. But we are still in charge. We are in charge. In charge of what? We are in charge of our In charge government. of what? We are in charge. Aye. That is what I'm saying. Why don't we abolish? Then, then in Krumer's state of, you know, premiership, where he was the prime minister. Under them. 
It would have been better. But, uh, 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 okay, we okay. want to be independent. Okay, but yeah, and we yes, don't want to be. Have it, now we saying. want to be. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Our independent, Kruma right. said, right. is going to be meaningless yeah. Yeah. until yeah. it's linked with the total un yeah. United States of Africa. Okay. Right. But be patient. Uh -huh. What about United States of West Africa? If we can't get United States of Africa, <laughs> the man who who and led you, think, you to independence is working. Eh? No, Kruma was very intelligent. But if you believe in Kruma, be patient too. Do you know that he formed Ghana, Guinea, Mali Union? Okay. And they, that is ECOWAS. Okay. What we are trying to let you understand is that right. everyone, mm -hmm. everyone present, look at Nanadu, look mm -hmm. at Mahama. Mm -hmm. All of them, as soon as ECOWAS, they run there. Okay. Because they want it. They yeah. need it. They yeah. know it's necessary. Okay. The problem is, what do we do to make it better than what it is? They, when yeah. President Nanadu yeah. won his yeah. election, yeah. he went to all the ECOWAS countries. And when they ask him, why? He said, I'm looking for market. Market. The market is there, but he cannot have it. Because the French and the British and the Germans have put their factories everywhere. We will let them remove them one by one. How are we going to get them to remove them? Ah, uh, did it Donald Trump? Equus is a, a dog that cannot bark. Oh, you created a dog that cannot bark. Right. So and you call it a dog that cannot bark. So Do you want you a dog that cannot bark? But that is what we have. No, Equus. no, 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 no. You see, let mm. me be honest with you. Right. You want what is good. Okay. Right? Right. But I think you are working towards what is bad. And so you are getting what is bad. And you are complaining. Why? We are telling I'll you. I'll give you a, a, a good example. In, your, in one of your columns on Ghana Web, where you made mention of the Nigerian case law, where the, the, the ECOWAS Court of Justice made a ruling for a person to be released. That is uh, uh, Dansuki. Dansuki. N Nigerian authorities did not. Refuse, refuse yes. To. yes. And, and this is the hub. Of ECOWAS. No. Okay, now, and they disobeyed the... the, 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 the ruling of right. ECOWAS, we right. said it earlier. Right. At it's this point, it, be patient. Right. Because of the way we elect people to the parliament that makes that law, which yeah. is advisory. Yeah. The ruling of ECOWAS is advisory. Okay. The, the, the court. Mm -hmm. But what we want... It's yeah. a binding. That okay. is the what you want. Okay. So if we want the binding one, mm -hmm. and we know the problem is a parliament, right. let us do something about you the had, parliament. You had Ibn Chambers. One Ibn Ghanian, Chambers. Ibn Chambers, um, a Ghanaian rep uh, who was the... Yeah, he was once a secretary okay, to... Of course. And he couldn't reform that? Uh, you see, what you don't realize, and uh, we, we don't realize, right. we think the problem is up there. Right. And the Bible always says the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah. You see, this thing is near us than we think. Okay. The solution, mm -hmm. you, what we are working on is, is for the people to is rise? mobilize the people. Okay. Because the, 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 the treaty mm -hmm. setting up the parliament yeah. said right. the formation, you see, they've, they've given, we have eight seats. And the, we have eight seats, right. Ghana. Mm -hmm. And the treaty said mm -hmm. for, for the time being, mm -hmm. The, the, the government of each country can choose the people the way they want to choose them. Okay. But if they are choosing on universal adult suffrage, yeah. like we do vote for the president of Ghana and the members of parliament, right. then that parliament there, yeah. the representative will have legislative power. But if they are appointing them the way we are doing now, which right. all the countries are doing, right. then it will be advisory. So technically, the problem has shown itself. Right. The leaders thought because they have sovereign status at this point in time, mm -hmm. when they meet together in the assembly of ECOWAS, the sovereign status automatically go. But so far, it has proven that to not work that way. So, but they don't realize that the problem is at the parliament. And we who know, who are aware, there is not a crime for us to know what they probably... Aren't you, aren't you surprised that there is no West African leader who has threatened to pull out of it? Who has threatened? Not one. No, one, one pull out. Who? Mauritania. That's very uh, But uh, I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm able but, to get but, something. But, 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 but when we look at, for instance, Nanadu saying, beseeching um, business and saying, this is not, market is not working. Why can Nanadu come out once and say, we will pull out of everyone? Because, if we don't because it's not prudent. And and it's irresponsible, totally irresponsible to pull out. To pull out of Morocco is begging to come and you want to pull out? Morocco is begging to come into ECOWAS. You, who is the founding father, founding, oh, if you pull out of ECOWAS, what are you going to join? European Union? You think they will take you? I think you people are not getting this thing straight. What is there is that that is what we have. But it's not working. Let us make it work. 
But the, the way to make it work is to threaten to do something. Like what? Is threatening yeah. to do something is not working away. Oh, you have your wife and you have a problem with your right. wife. So you are walking away. No, no, you but, have lost. But, but this is, you this settled is the problem. The, the, the cut funds that goes to this representative. Cut which them. fund? Which, which representatives? You, you, people representing us are equal. I think from the, country. the problem we have now yeah. is that the same people you see who are representing us, mm -hmm. they are those who are calling mm -hmm. the shots in the countries. They are the same then, people. Then there is a clear conflict of interest. <laughs> no, 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 no. The whole thing is that, you see, right. what we have to understand, mm -hmm. um, you and I hold passport of right. Ghana. Right. And uh, on your passport, on the top, they wrote ECOWAS passport. Right. Down there, Republic of Ghana. Right. Nigerian pass, uh, ECOWAS okay. passport, Republic of Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and so on, isn't it? Yeah. When you get to Heathrow here, yeah. isn't it? Right. Do you come in do you feel the ECOWAS is making an impact on you coming in? How do you do you have a, a movement that makes it better than the, the Ghana passport you were having before? The answer is no. Yes. Good. Okuja to Ablakwa. Kennedy Japan. They are holding diplomatic passports. So when they, they are coming, what you see, they don't see it. So what when we change that thing and create that ECOWAS passport with sovereign status? That is where we are getting it wrong. You, like EU citizen, will go to anywhere and you'll be respected because they won't be seeing Ghana anymore. They'll be seeing the ECOWAS. Mm -hmm. That is what we are trying to do. That thing, so who is the beneficiary here? Those who are benefiting from mm -hmm. this thing are not going to be Mr. Japan mm -hmm. or Arun Idrisu mm -hmm. or Nanado. Mm -hmm. It is you and I. Mm -hmm. We are the people down there. Mm -hmm. When there is too much, it tickles down and we get a share. You go to Ghana now. People are strong. Look at this internet. Uh, the internet. Uh, in Ghana, internet is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Phone call is expensive. Right. Why? Because we couldn't get it in bulk. Right. We couldn't go to space and put right. our satellite right. there. So what we need to do, the Indians are doing it. The Chinese are doing it. They control these things. You see, when you are big, you can negotiate. You can get bigger advantage. You can set up bigger projects. That's but when you are tiny, tiny, that tiny thing you see we call the, 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 the devil we inherited from the British called Ghana, mm -hmm. that one can only serve us inside. And Ghana is a viable, it's the second largest economy in, uh, in ECOWAS. Okay. Yes, it's the second largest. And we still cannot call the shot. We take a quick break, Mr. Yeki. Maintaining a present at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to a resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D. Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human rights law adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation, and so on, up to date, has been broken, and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law, and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law, locally in London, and across the borders in Ghana, where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. Welcome back. Well, thank Mr. you Yeke, very much. Mr. Yeke. Thank you. Just a quick question. Charles Taylor yeah. was, as you are aware, mm. was housed and sent to the, the Hague Tribunal. Right? Yeah, was arrested. Was arrested and taken to foreign. Exactly. Where was the country? Was? Thank you. <sighs> Chastela's issue. I've discussed it mm -hmm. very well in Right. Like Babu. Yeah. Could even. And we need to understand that where we are now. Right. Is an unfortunate time, but it's a time for transition. A transition can take you a short time mm -hmm. or forever. Mm -hmm. I like quoting the Bible. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel, mm -hmm. the journey of maybe one month, they take 40 years to travel. Right. It's just a transition. Okay. Transition can be short, it can be long. Mm -hmm. Chastela, every button 
-hmm. that happen in West Africa is for the good. It's only for the good if we're able to learn from it. Have we learned? Have we learned? Yes. The reason why I say we've learned from it is that because of the problem of Chastela. Remember, when Chastela took over, at that time there was ECOWAS, but there's no ECOMOG. Okay. There was no ECOMOG, which is the military arm of ECOWAS. Okay. So the problem that brought Chastela to government, rebel fighting and so on, led some West African countries, led by Nigeria, mm -hmm. Ghana, mm -hmm. and they went into Liberia because they say we can't sit down. Mm -hmm. They put, in the name of ECOWAS, they put military there. Mm -hmm. At the end of the war, mm -hmm. Chastela, there was election that ECOWAS conducted mm -hmm. and Taylor won. But when Taylor won the election, the, what are, the, 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 the resurrection was continuing. People were coming. Fighting was going on. So the understanding became Chastela himself probably is the problem. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, Yomi Johnson was killed and mm -hmm. so and so. So the problem became, no, sorry, uh, Yomi Johnson, not Yomi Johnson. Um, um, uh, the president, Samuel Doe, was killed. So there were so many problems. So we sat with Mr. Taylor at the time and told him that he need to leave because because he's the president there, that's why all this problem is coming. When he leaves, let's see what will happen. And Mr. Taylor disagreed at a point in time that there wasn't cool, there wasn't anything. He said, well, if I, as I believe I love my country, and I believe I did everything in good faith, but this is the problem that is coming. I will leave if I can be guaranteed that I will have a place to stay. Ghana offered to have him to stay in Ghana. That we will protect him. But he chose to go to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. While in Nigeria, something went wrong and he ended up in Hague. Good. I've never seen an American citizen, mm -hmm. even outside America, to commit an offense and they take him back to punish him there. They will always take him to America. Always. Yes. Okay. And when you when a citizen of anyone, anywhere, talk less of American, commit an offense in America, he must be judged in America by American law. In our case, Chastela was brought to the Hague. And the argument, some of us came up with the argument that why should he be taken to Hague? Exactly. It is totally wrong. Okay. And the, the those remember there are two parties mm -hmm. to the case. Mm -hmm. Those that lost their family members who believe Chastela killed them, mm -hmm. and those who are for Chastela. But each one justice. Mm -hmm. We in West Africa at that time don't have the ECOWAS court. Mm -hmm. So, and something must happen. So we have to fall on the International Criminal Court. It's not even the EU court. Criminal Court. Yeah. Which the, um, no American has been taken there. No Russian has been taken there. No Chinese has been taken there. No Indian has been taken there. Which shows clearly that we are still with the colonial past. But the situation demand that. Because a man that has killed people, mm. and uh, which was bad, mm -hmm. and we've, we in ECOWAS felt we are also part of the problem at the time. Mm -hmm. But there is no structure to keep him because we assure him we will protect him. We handed him over. Good. Whatever be the case, the judgment was passed in The Hague. We are not happy. But it's passed. While that was going on, Babo's case came up. I don't know whether Babo's case, mm -hmm. ECOWAS court was in place before mm -hmm. Babo's case, mm -hmm. that he wasn't judging ECOWAS but taken to uh, 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 Hague. But remember, the, 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 the problem in Cote d'Ivoire, France was in the middle of it. And what France want at this time, they get. So they took him there and they kept him there. Fine. Now, they say the case is over, but you shouldn't leave there. They were killing again. So that has shown how vulnerable we are. And it's rather emboldened us, give us that courage to say, hey, the biggest disgrace, you sit down with Chinese people at a table, dinner table, and they remind you of something like this, that why are they taking you every day to, to, to the mm -hmm. Europe? Mm 
to yeah. go and punish. Are you Europeans? If you commit your problem in Africa, they should punish you in Africa. Yeah. But then we too believe in the rule of law okay. and we believe in justice. Okay. So we have got our own courts. Mm -hmm. But the ECOWAS court, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. depend, depend mm -hmm. on the laws the ECOWAS parliament makes. Mm -hmm. The president of the ECOWAS commission mm -hmm. will need the laws the ECOWAS uh, parliament will make. Mm -hmm. right. right. That is the rule of law. Okay. So why are you all not fighting to push for that change to happen? That is what we are busy doing. That's why we are here this afternoon. What we are doing, we are working hard. It's not right. easy. Right. What we are doing is that, you see, we are looking for the opportunity. One of the opportunity that came is the ECOWAS common currency. I'm even happy <laughs> to hear you said Ghana and Nigeria yeah. are saying they are opting uh, out. Yeah, yeah. We wanted, we didn't want them to opt out. We mm -hmm. want them to stay, but we are going to call to put injunction on the introduction of the currency. What do they mean? Do you disagree with them? To opting out? For, for opting out. Well, if they decided to opt out, right. you understand. Right. You see, when you opt out, you should make, you, 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 when you boycott something, yeah. they should rather be progressives yeah. rather than then I don't even know the name to use. If I have a problem with you, right? right? And I'm trying to withdraw. I should let you know why I'm withdrawing and what I want to be done right. But I want to keep the friendship. I want to keep the relationship. You understand? Right. So these ones that say they are withdrawing mm -hmm. from the common currency, what are their reasons? And what, because Ghana, mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. and Niger, mm -hmm. this, is it, is it, is it Cote d'Ivoire and, and Niger? These four countries formed the tax force, the president of these countries, they were the tax force to get this currency to come into being. Yes, they are the presidential tax force, four of them. They've been meeting in Accra. They met in Niger, Niamey, Niamey. So if they say they are pulling yeah. out, uh, then who announced 2020? No, 2020, next year, yeah. was announced as the year the currency will be introduced, isn't it? And Ghana and uh, Nigeria... Are you guys serious about it? Introducing Echo. Echo. Currency Why not? I'm coming. Have you visited e Europe before? How do you... See? Let me, let me, uh, Andy, let me oh, tell no, you. No. Let me, let but, me. But you were recently in Ghana. So yes. Like, every single thing you want to purchase is labeled in dollar. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. And that, and that is the that, reason. Even, so there, there seems to be, and that is where I'm trying to drive at. We have a problem with the city. We have a problem with serious we problem with the city. We have not resolved it yet. We can't resolve it. Okay. And you are moving to something higher? Now, what you need to understand is that, you see, currency yeah. is just a paper. Right. The value of your currency depends on your productivity. Of course. So the economy right. is what determines the value of the currency. Okay. The currency is just a paper printed by the government to circulate around. Right. Right. So the value of the currency depending on the productivity of the yeah. citizens, okay. the people in the economy. Right. And Ghanaians as they are now okay. are, not, are not strong economically enough mm -hmm. to give the, the, the CD the value it deserves. What we do every quarter or every two, three years is we go to the IMF mm -hmm. and collect some dollar mm -hmm. and bring it into the Kenya economy. When the dollar comes in, we use it to back the city. Mm -hmm. so, in a, so technically, the city itself has no value. It is the dollar we are actually spending. And we take this money on loan. Now, everyone knows we are in big trouble. Mm -hmm. The way out is we want now to deal with the problem from outside that is the regional body to deal with the problem means things like you just said everywhere you go to people want to collect dollar they don't want the cd right. technically our sovereign currency is in tatas mm -hmm. the way forward the way forward is we are introducing the echo and it's not only in ghana it sounds like the track of our kelly eh? it sounds like a track of our kelly. <laughs> oh it's a beautiful one day. <laughs> remember you see, you are looking at the CD because you live in the CD economy. Right. Do you know what is happening to the Dalasi? Have you seen what's happened to the Leon, Sierra Leone currency? Have you seen what is happening to the Liberian dollar? Boy, even the CD is a bit better compared to those ones. The currency are down. The only currency in West Africa that has some weight is the safer. 
And the CFA, the CFA used by Togo and all these countries, is the sovereign property, is the property of the sovereign government of France. Okay. So those countries themselves don't own that currency. Okay. Good. If the Ghana government, for example, say, Andy, mm -hmm. I want you to go to Togo mm -hmm. or Burkina Faso or Nigeria to do something for me, Ghana government, they pay you in dollar. Okay. The doesn't make sense. The Kaya you. Yeah. So we then said, if we have a common currency, if you are from Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. the government of Cote d'Ivoire is sending you to Burkina Faso. And they are going to give you money because you need money in your account to do what they want you to do, your yeah. diem and whatever. Yeah. They pay you in safer because when you get there, they spend safer. Okay. So they give you the same money they collect from the tax payer yeah. and they give it to you. So there's no cost of exchange mm -hmm. of money. Mm -hmm. There's no any headache. Yeah. The same currency. Yeah. On that, so the economy of those French-speaking countries are connected. But when you come to the English-speaking countries, mm -hmm. the economy, because they all have different currencies, mm -hmm. are not connected. Mm -hmm. So when you buy this glass mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. and you go to Nigeria, for example, to go and buy it or Sierra Leone, the value must be the same. Right. But the differences in the currency makes it difficult. So if the, the value will not be the same, you can't, you can't calculate. And even if the value are going to change, it should depend depend on the immediate environmental circumstances and not the currency itself. If you go to Burkina Faso and you buy baguette, that their bread, mm -hmm. pine, that French bread, and you go to Senegal, the same price, same mil franc, the mil franc, that's what they'll be telling, the same price. You buy ice cream, the same price. But when you come to the English-speaking country, you can't know because the currencies are different. But, so but then, this, this is where you're going to find yourself in trouble How? because you can see that safer is being probably monitored yes by, by, by France. France yes but then you're going to find a currency called echo, echo. on the fundamentals of a group of West African countries yeah that are not even united and are not willing to cooperate or improve upon you see this this, this branch or, or institution sovereignty so now, how, how is it going to work Sovereignty is like it's like I'll say it's independent. Right. Independent. Okay. Another word you can use for sovereignty. Yeah. It's like life. So what are you going to do with the safer? And I'm going to explain this. It's mm -hmm. like life. Right. To take life from someone who has got life is difficult. Mm -hmm. Very, very even animal, any living thing. Yeah. But when you know what to do, you take the life from that without hurting that one we seriously. Don't know what to do. And I'm telling you what mm -hmm. to do. Okay. I know what to do. Right. The system, you see, bringing in the echo yeah. is necessary. <laughs> it's fundamentally necessary because that is the only way we can make the economies work together. The question is, who is introducing the echo? Is it the government of Ghana? Of course not. It's the echo was. So the authority... Which is still an advisory institution. And I'm coming. That okay. is where we are going to court to, 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 to put an injunction so that we transform because we want the currency, mm -hmm. but we want it to be a legal tender issued by a sovereign authority. Mm -hmm. That is what we have to do. So which and that's what are you going? Oh, that is not a problem. Which the, are you the, the, the procedure, right? the right. procedure is right. you start your case in Ghana, right. any court in Ghana yeah. of um, high court. Uh -huh. When you start the case, they will look at the case and look right. at what you are talking about. Yeah. There are two things they can do. They can say, okay, they think you are right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Or they think you are not right. Mm -hmm. Whatever, then they, they, they don't want to. But whatever thing they do, you can then appeal. Mm -hmm. You understand? To the advisory, to, to the, to the advisory body. Uh, yeah, be patient. Uh, uh, be what patient. Does that mean? You are taking the child to the devil. Uh -huh. to Remember, what? my brother. Uh, you yeah. are taking the child to, to the devil. That cannot think. So, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. You see, that is where uh -huh. the third one comes. In. Okay. What you are doing here yeah. is you are testing, shaking that power. You are shaking it. Now see. Right. What you do, mm -hmm. when assuming the court in Ghana say no, you appeal. Yeah. If the court in Ghana say yes, then you say now you are suing them up there. Because a court here has passed, then they will take it on. Yeah. They can also say yes yeah. or no. Yeah. Either way, we win. This is what is happening. When you go, remember, it's going to be advice, isn't it? Yeah. It is always. It be patient. Always be patient. 
But that advisory body's case yeah. and the judgment will be heard all across West Africa. Yeah. All the government then will be pushed to start thinking yeah. again. Yeah. They will start thinking it because there's no point you introducing yeah. a currency yeah. in a country that people have a choice to yeah. accept it or not accept yeah. it. Because if you give me a, a Scottish pound, for example, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I have one in my pocket, right. Scottish pound. Mm -hmm. You can choose to accept it or not because Scotland is not an independent country and yeah. Scotland is not sovereign. Yeah. But pound sterling, mm -hmm. pound sterling, if mm -hmm. you choose not to accept it, mm -hmm. When the police get involved, mm -hmm. they will find out whether the currency is counterfeit. If it's not counterfeit, you'll be in a big, big trouble. Yeah. You have to accept it. Right. It's binding yeah. because it's a legal tender. Now you can see two currencies. Yeah. One, Scottish. The, in fact, the, the, the currency look alike. Right. Yet, one is not by force. Mm -hmm. But in Scotland, you can use it. Yeah. Right. right. And this, then that say, and, and, and we are going to have a currency like the Scottish pound. That is not so. The Chinese, you can go to China and do business and say, We are not taking it. Let me even make you laugh a little bit, Andy. Recently, Nigerians went to Mecca. At that time, they've been issued with their coerced passport. And the Saudis said they are not accepting it. They don't recognize that authority because it's not, it's not a sovereign authority. They, they have to go back. I think they repatriated them or they, they, they deported them, they sent them back. But there was a way the Nigerians have to go back to say, forget about Equa, just look at it. We just have a new passport. That's it. Now they say, okay. So technically, the authority of Equa has been patient. You see, the authority of Equa clearly is yeah. showing that we have a problem there. Okay. But what we have a problem, I won't throw away my car mm -hmm. because my car is not functioning the way I want it to work. I will not throw away my son mm -hmm. because my son is not doing well in school. What I need to do is to find out what is wrong and then dig into what is that wrong and come up with the answer. Solution. And that's what we are doing. So I think you should kind of be born again and start looking at things in a way that this ECOWAS is necessary. We can't continue in a regional body of 350 million people. Big market and be there like highlands highlands we cannot continue to be in a huge opportunity gold because 350 million people is not a joke and here we are because of the little thing we need to do we are so why do we have to spend american dollar that is their money we spend our money do you know that if you take cd to bring cd to this country if not those people in that Kumasi black market, sorry for me mentioning me. If not in the black market, yeah. nobody will take it from you. That CD, you keep it until you go back to your Ghana. Nobody will touch it. Why can't I? But that pound sterling, take it into Ghana. That euro, take it. They take it from you. That dollar, take it. You go to uh, anywhere, the black market in Accra and the formal market, they'll collect it from you. Okay. So we are saying that, mm -hmm. you see, the problem we are in is our problem. And we, like Mandela said, mm -hmm. sometimes it's fall on a generation to be the one to change their fate of their people. And I think we are that generation. And we should stand up responsibly and do simple things. Simple. We are busy NDC, MPP, NDC, MPP. When we vote for them, they come. The only thing they do is to give themselves contract. That's all. They go and, work back, go and bring money. IMF, go and bring money. They are just bringing money and giving themselves contract. And we are sitting there. Eh? We are living like we are dead. I was in Ghana recently. I want to make you laugh a little bit. Do you, you don't seem to be someone who like laughing. He said, <laughs> yeah, he said I, was, I, was, I was passing by and the sun was hot. And right. one man was telling his friend, hmm, He mean, this is how we are going to be gallivanting until we pass on. It means they will die and go away. They have a right to live. And right to life. That is Ekowa Citizens' Right Advocates' premises. There are five key things fundamental in this modern world. And we don't want to continue with that traditional house. We are sick of it. Right. That traditional food, that okay. is cheap. What we want is modern food, modern house, modern hospital, mm -hmm. modern education. Right. And uh, the fifth one is modern clothing. Right. 
all these fundamentals maybe perhaps are, are our right okay maybe. our right maybe. but our right must be given to us by ourselves okay yes a house is supposed to be one room sitting room one bedroom one sitting room toilet bathroom mm -hmm. and kitchen that is what a person in this country get by force if you can afford it, they've educated you, go and work again. If you cannot, government give it to you. We all signed the United Nations Convention that we are committed to it. Right. And these things don't come from the sky. Mm -hmm. They are not manner. Right. We need to produce them. How can we produce them when 80% of our population are unemployed? When we need visa to go to other people's land to go and clean their toilet? I think it is time we sit down. God is not coming to solve this problem. We must solve it. Nationally. I don't think it's too able. Because well, it's an institution that has no power. Well, uh, wow. that's your Thank view. You. <laughs> it's been a great pleasure meeting you. An excellent person. And I'm recommending the darker side of Ghana to everyone. This is where time will bring us. Mr. Yekin, you've been excellent. And I recommend your book, The Darker Side of Ghana, to everybody watching. It is on sale on Amazon and on other various uh, internet Outlet. or uh, outlets. He'll be coming back again to talk us through the legislation, implementation, yes. and other aspect of yeah. making ECOWAS a powerful institution other than what it is now. Remember, this is the hour show. Remember to subscribe on our YouTube channel, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.